Hi Sam Scud. I'm Danny Phillips 77. Um I've come by your video actually two times. I was watching one of my subscribers, uh Jeezy's bleh, Jesus Freak and um his response to you. And then I also got your um your video in an email it was shared to me by someone else that I'm subscribed to who's also a friend um, she said that she thought that I probably could help so <laughs> I'll do what I can um, you know like you said you know all you're really asking for is some of our, th some of our own thoughts on this and um, it's really great that you're thinking about it and that's where I want to start I agree with you. It sounds like the event that you went to was a bit weird. Um, but I wasn't there. I didn't hear everything that they had said. But just from what you said, it did seem a little odd. Um, but um, I will say this. I am one of those who believe that God can turn evil for good. So if if they weren't legit, if they were uh, just one of those type of people who call themselves Christians and have weird wacky ideas, um, God obviously used it for good because he got you to thinking. He got you thinking um, about your thoughts on religion and um, to give you the, the desire and the interest in making this video so that you could get other ideas and uh, think about it more. Um, one of the things that I wanted to say also is about the Bible and about the translations of the Bible. I, like Jesus Freak said, you know, Christianity is quite simple except when it comes to the part of understanding and learning about the history and various things like that. I cannot say that I'm a scholar. If you're looking for things like that and, and wanting to know more about that, Jesus Freak I think is one of uh, many that you can look to for that. Um, he's more knowledgeable in that area. Um, I'm more of the things of the heart and my own experiences. So what I do know and I have heard in the fa in, as a fact is that when the men were, um, were doing the translations they were under strict orders not to change anything because uh, their lives were at stake literally so we have to take that in consideration um, when the translations were done contrary to um, to belief or things that have been thought before um, those who really look into it find this out and it's clear there were no changes there couldn't have been because of the fact that the men their lives were threatened they knew better than to do so so um if I'm wrong I don't know maybe someone else has like I said I'm not I can't claim to know that you know personally for a fact it's something that I've heard um, the other thing I did want to state, and I've mentioned it just a little bit ago, is to be aware of some of those who call themselves Christians. Um, again, I refer back to Jesus Freak's um, video and his response to you. you. It is important to read the Bible for yourself. Um, because you will see a lot of, of things that people who call themselves Christians do wrong and don't let that don't when you do find it you know that okay well this Christian this person's calling herself Christian they're doing this wrong and that wrong and then a lot of people use that as an excuse or a reason not to accept Jesus Christ or God and you gotta understand God and us as humans two different things um, we're supposed to be the perfect example or an example of Jesus Christ but unfortunately because we're human and we still a lot of us are struggling with our own sins and our own flesh we fall short badly 
and I can say that from an experience. Unfortunately, I still smoke, and that's one of the things I struggle with. I'm not perfect either, but <clears throat> it's um, leading into the next thing I wanted to tell you also. Um, when it comes to the things that we should and shouldn't do, those things are in the scriptures, and God gives us what people call rules, basically as a way to protect us from the harmful or destructive results of the things that we want to do. Sometimes we think, oh, you know, it seems so exciting to drink or to party with our friends and, and the things that go on during parties. and. It may seem like a lot of fun, but you really look at the end result of it emotionally, physically, you know, and if you really look at it that way, is it really worth it, you know, and how much more problems does it cause you, you know, and a lot of teenagers, and I myself have gone through it, you know, I've looked to other things, drinking, uh, tried pot, though I really didn't get into it, um, just to kind of escape from my problems when I was younger and I was growing up. Um, in the end, I actually caused more problems for myself at home, like I didn't have enough problems already. Um, so, basically, I mean, and God's trying to protect us by giving the giving these guidelines for us, basically. Then we got to think of the, you know, it. We choose to give up things, and make circ what may feel like sacrifices for ourselves, uh, or sacrifices, because we love God. And once you realize, and and it, it sinks in what God gave up himself, that he gave up his son to die on the cross because of our sins when we didn't even deserve it. When all that sinks in, we want to do better. We want to change. We want to stop doing the things that are destructive to us. And I also wanted to say, you know, just follow your own heart about Christianity because I know it can be confusing. There's so many ideas out there, and it's hard to say. For and I cannot tell you. For me, Christianity is it. But that's something you have to to seek God and call on Him and ask Him. And eventually, over time, you will discover for yourself whether you know Christianity is the true religion for you. And I pray and I hope that you do eventually do find that. And maybe it won't happen overnight. Maybe it'll be a few years down the road that you discover this for yourself. But I pray that someday it will. I know it took me a while. And even after I made a decision, I went through a roller coaster before I really got serious about my relationship with God. Um, there was a lot of things I did not want to give up because I don't think it really, really sunk in what God had done for me. So these are just some of my ideas, and if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Um, you can look back at any of my past videos and learn more about what I went through as a teenager, and that's some of what my videos are about, sharing my own experiences and uh, what I got through, you know, how and what I learned out of it so I hope this made any sense to you and maybe it just gave you some more to think about so bye girl nice meeting you